Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofina, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the lovely world of Fallout 4. We're still at the Sunshine's Tidings Co-op, and the wildlife still doesn't agree with me. And uh, we just, well, met Professor Goodfields over here. We also got the Wasteland Survivor Guide, which allows us to now get double the food items from animals we kill. And that sets us up to finally head towards the Corvega car factory. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to try and survive as best as possible heading towards the Corvega factory, which we were going to do last episode, but I had a bit too much to do in that one. So we made a few settlements along the way, including this one. So if we die, we're going to come back here. But the problem now is we need to head towards the Corvega car factory, which is over there. Um, but we're going to have to go through gunner territory to do so. But gunners also gives us a good chance of getting some nice weaponry. So for that, I'm gonna first assault this bridge. So there's at least one machine gun turret up top there. I don't think it can actually fire at me from here. So... Let's just try and take it out from here then. There we go. Just before it fired. And then the gunners up top are, of course, freaky. Oh, no, there's a guy. There's a guy. Hello. Hello. I'm just going to fire at you from bats. Oh, let's just grab his head there. And perform a critical. Oh, that's not going to kill him either. Dogmeat, can you grab him? Did he just... Okay, he... I think one of them just tried to jump down. I think one of them just died in the elevator. Hello? Yeah, he just jumped down. That wasn't that smart now, was it? So he has a laser pistol, which is fine. But clearly my pipe weaponry isn't up to snuff for this area. Um, but some more fusion shells. I'm going to grab the pistols anyway because they have some ammo in them as well. Are you okay, Dogmeat? You did good, boy. So drop the pistols again. And once we're out of caution, I might as well kill whatever is up there. I'm also healing up a bit. Oh, I just became packaged from a lack of food. Well, that might be bad. What else is here? There seems to be a woman over there. And a turret right next to her. There we go. Molotov cocktail. Oh god, that turret is going to kill me if I don't kill it right now. There we go. Um, just gonna reload here. I don't think she can actually fire at me from there. Wait, where did she go? Oh, there she is. No, you won't. Goodbye. Whew. There we go. Criticals help with that. There we go. Headshot served. Yep. Definitely a lot of headshots there. So, ooh, that's all the food, though. I'm gonna grab her laser pistol as well and then drop that on the floor. Oh, some rat treatments increase your fatigue and temporarily lower your immunity, making you more vulnerable for diseases. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful and just eat something that doesn't really better, but still package. Holy crap. Okay, don't use radaways. That is, so it also removes that over time, but holy crap, that's a bad effect of right away so now i can see that indeed at the bottom right i have a sort of immunity deficiency at the moment that is gonna hurt in the long run but a bit more ammo a few nice beds here as well and a weapons workbench and i totally missed it but next to the weapons workbench we have aha that means a short hunting rifle and a pocketed boiled leather right arm that's gonna come in handy as well so the right arm can replace mine, so it's better, and it's pocketed, so that gives me another 5 extra carry weight. Let's drop the normal right arm. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the pipe pistol as well, because the hunting rifle... I got 28 bullets for that. It does weigh quite a bit, but I think I might be able to adjust that to have incredible criticals at longer range. So might as well try that out. So let's favorite that and just go with the 10mm from now. So it indeed also has the calibrated receiver, which would up the damage for criticals. And then I'm assuming the barrel has something similar. No, it just increases range and accuracy. 
and the long barrel would be ideal here, although the short light barrel, hip fire accuracy. It does make it actually a lot lighter as well, the short light barrel. And it doesn't reduce damage, so I do want to have that if I can. So changed our setup a bit and that actually caused the sun to rise. Which uh, means that we can... Uh, actually quickly gonna check, nope, nothing in the cooking station because we haven't killed any animals since uh, we left sunshine. Tidings. Uh, so the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a quick save. I think these pets should be fine. There we go, covered beds, the proper bed, so I don't even run the risk of actually, well, getting a disease. And dog meat should still be waiting for us, I think. I guess we'll see. Dog meat? Ah, there he is. Okay, let's head further. And then we pass Carhenge, so the, uh, well, car wreck used inspired version of Stonehenge. And I don't think there actually are items in here, it's just... Something nice to look at, so let's move on. And then we cross another road, and I feel like, yeah, the hidden thing is definitely shuffling. Oh, crap. Stingwings. Stingwings are horrifying, but maybe I can get a critical in. I shouldn't waste my shotgun shells, though. But I do want to see if there's anything of use in this shack, because I have no idea where we are at the moment. Oh, why do I want to go in here? This is going to be horrifying. Uh, oh, that's a stingwing, all right. Let's just kill it with as much shots as we can gather. Oh, come on, kill it. There we go. Oh, God. Are there more? I heard something else. Oh, God. I think there was a mine outside and the other stingwing just triggered it. I need to be careful then. And that's double stingwing meat. It doesn't sound all that uh, good, but... And there we go, a tractor. You don't see them often, but they made the, uh, the effort to put one of those in. Um, hmm. So are there more mines outside? Because that sounds like there's a fusion reactor of some kind outside. So that usually means that there's another fusion core in there as well. Thank you. Well, there's absolutely nothing here. This is a, a big shack. It's even an unmarked location. So no idea there. I'm just going to keep heading east then. Double stingwing for me. And then we're back on the road. The city we're heading towards is called Lexington. And it should have a few locations where we can rest up, hopefully before we head into Corvega itself. But I do want to be careful before we even reach that. Oh, that is definitely not something I want to... Yeah, there's a bear there. Um, So the Corvega factory is over there. That's probably Gunners. Crap. So I need to choose between a bear and Gunners. That's not good now, is it? So the gunners are up there. I don't think they will mind as long as I stay over here. Underneath the bridge. If I fit underneath the bridge, there we go. Don't mind me. Just an innocent woman passing by. Looking for her Talma to her Louise. Oh, God. No, don't see me, please. Ah, that's a whole flock of rat stack does. Holy crap. That's all the meat, but if I start firing at it now, I'm going to be in trouble. No. Dog meat, stay quiet. Stay quiet. Okay, so up ahead are raiders. Raiders are fine. You can handle raiders. How far are they? Oh yeah, this is the guy that's praying, right? I, don't, I think he's going to be aggressive if I... You know what? I'll try... And go past him, because I think in the gunless playthrough we passed through here as well, and he was also praying to his dead buddy. But I don't wanna I don't wanna fight him if it if if you don't need to. One last haul, then I'll call it quits. Okay. So he can't doing this, because raiders of course are just people. I mean horrible people, but still people. And this brings us to the edge of Lexington, I think. I am detected. But he doesn't seem to mind. Okay. 
So now, we're right next to Lexington, not from the normal way we would come, because that's the satellite dish we were in the previous episode. I think that over there, that peak, is the, the Church of Concord. So, we're definitely making our way around town. We still need to be careful for everything that pops up. I think this place just has a few rad roaches. And it opens up in a different direction than I anticipated. But there is... Yeah, there's a Coca-Cola Quantum over there. And Quantums are really important for survival. Because uh, they can really help in a pickle. Now, Rad Roach is always double meat. So that's almost one piece of food. If I can find another one, that's a piece of food. There it is. Oh! Did Dogmeat have him in his mouth? You guys saw that, right? Oh god. Yeah, bye. There's more. Don't know where they're coming from, but... Blamo? I think Dogmeat has... The last one. So that's definitely a lot of meat for us then. And then we can check out... Ooh, those are probably all bottles. If I shoot that, that drops down. Oh, looks like most of the bottles are still up there for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but you know what? Let's not waste too much more ammo on that. Um, just go, go towards the car factory now. Because we're right next to it. Um, the one thing I want to try and do is the ideal entryway is down there. Because of course at the front we have, as you can see over there, there's a turret over there. And there's plenty of people up top as well. So if I can sneak all the way down there. Because there's a radar up top. I know, I know. So let's try and sneak all the way down. So nobody notices me. Hmm, I do want to check. I'm going to quickly check if I can access the... Ooh. So there we go, Lexington. The red rocket over here. Because if we can sleep in that, that would be nice. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be a bed down here. Which I thought there was, but there's everything aside from a bed. So that means we just go into the car factory as quick as possible. Because the longer I stay out here, the more chances there are gonna be. That's definitely... That's definitely zombies. There he is. Um, will you please shoot him? Yes. Oh god. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh god. Um. Ow, 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 ow. I don't know. I apparently hit myself with this. Oh, I killed myself. Fuck me. How? How big is the radius of that Molotov cocktail? I should have just switched to the pistol and fired away, but I kind of forgot about it. So, let's try this again. What? How? Wait, what? How is dog me down? It must have spawned with me on the bridge and then dove down, right? I don't even know where he, where he is. Okay, take it easy, Gunner. Wait, where's, where's dog meat? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, he keeps respawning underneath the floor there. And, yeah, I can't, I can't stand back, stand back to, to here. I think I healed him. But he's, yeah, so, dog meat. Yeah, he just keeps respawning. Well, this is a sight. Let's just keep going then. Aha, there we go. He fixed himself. That's good. Let's head to Gorvega. So, let's try that again. I'm a bit too close now, I think. Don't want to be too overly dramatic here. Too enthusiastic. I think I can actually hop up here. And then go down the pipe like this. So, Lexington discovered again. Yeah, it's over here. No, no, stop yelling. Stop yelling. So this pipe has a breach in it. And if you go over here, you can actually get... So there's a railroad sign here as well. Secret entryway. We can get into the Corvega assembly plant. 
Now from here things get dicey so we need to be extremely careful about what we do now. So there are a bunch of ghouls in these pipes but they will go out and get murdered by the third. There we go. That third is hostile towards us as well. And there's another dude actually protecting it too. Yeah, that third is definitely hostile towards us. Um, let's take out the light first, because the light is what's targeting us. Is that? The third is shooting on the door at the dog. Okay, we got an extra critical from four, four Leaf Clover, and I think they're getting, they're gonna come over here. Is the raider in the, I'm gonna stem pack the dog. Yeah, they're over there, okay. Hello, here's a shotgun for you. Man, that's aggressive. So according to the game, we're still in danger. Stay here, boy. Hi. Hi. Ow. Oh, wow. That took most of my health. I think I'm going back into the tunnel. Back into the tunnel. Because that just took a huge hit there. Um, so let's get the stem pack going. And then the purified water once. There we go. Double team from me and dog meat, but that should get us at least a few more extra shotgun shells, right? Yeah, there we go. And more shotgun shells over here as well. So that's really good. And we get our stem packs back as well. Okay. So there's definitely more raiders where that came from. This place is filled with them. And the corpses are going to start freaking out in the water here, but I'm not going to care about that. Just want to... Move forward. So this terminal, Lonnie's terminal, actually explains to us how uh, Lexington was um, taken over by the raiders. So at first they needed to clear out the ghoul swarm that was here. And then they took teams and took out all the ghoul stragglers in every apartment that was still left. And then they started up setting up defenses like the one over here. So the ghouls were trying to get in through the pipes, but they set up a turret as a defense mechanism. And Gristle was, of course, the head of these raiders. And Gristle was the guy that we killed outside of Concord, out of the, outside of the museum. And he was uh, killed by us in the power armor. So, and that's why we got the Corvega storage key that will allow us access to the storage room in this area, which uh, also holds a lot of loot. Ooh, eight shotgun shells. That is nice. That might help us out. Just gonna slowly... Oh, beer bottles. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god. Gold dog meat is tricking all the cans. All the cans. So this brings us at the bottom of the assembly. The assembly plant. So we need to be careful. There's plenty of oil and stuff like that. We're rolling the floor as well. Plenty of ways to die. And if I open up that door, I think this is... Yeah, this is that weird room, right? Yeah. Um, I think... With the hunting rifle, should be able to just <laughs> shoot his head off. There we go. Don't want to waste that bu those bullets too much, but if I'm far away, it might as well be like this. So I feel like that's behind us. There's more where that came from, probably. I do want to check out this hallway that I don't trigger anybody over here. Okay. First raider down. Next up. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a few over there. If he comes close enough, I can actually shotgun him in the face and let the second one come over here as well. I do have grenades as well, so might as well just try. And toss one over there. That's at least one down. I think the other one must have survived. But grenades are a bit safer than Molotov cocktails, as I just displayed. Because I can still run away. I think maybe with the pistol. I don't see him yet. Yeah, he's in the back there. Okay. Oh god, there's a turret. There's a turret. There's a turret. 
So there was a turret that saw me. I think I can toss a grenade over at the turret and try to take it out that way. But dog meat is in the way now. Um, dog meat. Dog meat. So there's the turret again. There goes the turret. And then the raider. It's probably going to take either side of the... Yeah, he's still over there. So if I move along the sides here, getting the ammo of the dead guy over here. Where'd the little bitch go? I'm not a little bitch. My name's Louise, bitch. There we go. That was... I cleared that out nicely. Just need to be careful that there aren't any booby traps in here, but I don't think so. This is just kind of like a storage area. I wonder where the other raider is, the one that I blew up. Because I don't see him here. It doesn't seem like there's anything of use for me here. The fertilizer is really nice to make explosives. Uh, but, ah, wait. These are the two raiders. Okay, so that means I just need to check out what the turret was holding. What was that? Oh god! This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? That's one. And now the other one is stuck, I think. There we go. Okay, kind of forgot the, the ghouls spawning after that. Oh, and they got. Ooh, they refilled my ammo. Don't blow up. It looks like an engine in there. Don't blow up. Okay, so those are the readers downstairs. Should be fine for now. This also opens up into an older area. Does this go outside or does this... Ah, yeah. This is the older hallway. The staircase. We're fine, we're fine. I think there might be some booby traps around here. So another recruit died last night. A feral got him good. So that means there are more raiders around here. I might as well toss another grenade. Didn't stop him. I'll find you! I don't think you will. I think that grenade took care of you. Hmm, there's clearly somebody else in here. But we're still cooking with the, the shotgun. Oh no. Ooh, there's one at the end of the hallway. Just saw him there. That's more shotgun shells for me. Yeah. There we go. There we go. The next batch is probably up the stairs. Show your face. That is Raider Scum, so if I can get close enough, that would be nice. Because, of course, Raider Scum is a higher tier of Raider, which means more health and stuff like that. Oh, this is already that area. Okay, okay. I want to avoid that area for now. Because that area is filled to the brim with Raiders, and there's a lot of open sidelines. And I feel like there's one Raider really, really close here. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Hello! What the That's a grenade. I think I killed him with that. I still hear another turret, so I'm gonna have to be careful. I feel like there's at least one more reader around. Okay, yeah. Who is that? Okay, that's still... I'm I'm yeah, you must have. You must have seen that grenade just explode your body. That's probably just a hallucination. Hello! <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Didn't even need to use a critical there. That was nice. And he also has razor grain, so that's nice. So I only need to take out the turret now. I think I can take out... Yeah, the turret is moving... It's looking at the wrong direction. So I'm wondering if there's a... Ter there should be a terminal nearby, right? That's probably it. So let's use the terminal. Can it shoot me? Oh god. I think I made a horrible mistake now. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, god. I'm just... Peeking in and out, because it always shoots in bursts. There we go. So I'm going to heal up dog meat. There we go. And now I need to be careful, because the other raiders apparently know where I am now. But that should probably fade. I thought I was for sure that ter that terminal would allow us to uh, take control of the turret, but no such luck. There we go. So it's fading. It's fading. They're just above us. They don't really know where I am. We're in caution and dog meat is in the way constantly. But this is the Corvega storage. So this allows us to grab all that's in here. So there's explosives. There's 308 rounds. 
So that gives us the rounds. Ooh, that definitely gives us the rounds back that we lost. I'm just going to grab what we actually use. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is this booby trapped? No, it's not. It's not booby trapped. We can just grab it. So another grenade, fragmentation mine, and Molotov cocktail. There we go. So we can now we can kill the rest of the raiders because I want to kill the rest of the raiders so we can get a good night's sleep in this place. Um, but I think most of them are upstairs now. So I'm pretty sure I have a critical saved up just in case. Don't think I'll need it. Look, there's one raider all the way in the back. There we go. So hunting rifles are extremely, extremely accurate, which is why I can do that just with uh, iron sights. So the other raiders, I think, are downstairs. I don't want to move down from here. I don't know. Must be your imagination. You can go to sleep now again. So let's move down again and move through the tunnels to get to the other side. So this door, I think, leads us into the lobby. And the lobby usually also has a few raiders. And they can shoot you through all of these windows. There goes one. Yes, I did. Nice observation. So I'm getting, I'm starting to see Marcus now because of the last raiders that are left. There we go. Shoot. There we go. Oh god. There's one more over there. There we go. Just gonna reload after every shot. Sounds. Ooh, a melon. Oh god. I'm gonna show that. No, no, from where? Dog me, get out of the way. There we go. Save dog meat with that, I think. And there's still. Still a raider talking to me. But at least we're getting uh, our money's worth in the loot on these raiders. Because they always have stem packs and ammo. This is really nice. I think there's one more in the bathroom. Because the layout is usually the same, but I need to be careful because there might be explosives. Don't know why they would booby trap their own bathroom, but okay, nobody in the bathroom. You need to be careful by walking in here like that. Dog meat, get out of the way, please. You're a good doggy, but please get out of the way. Where I feel like I, I'm pretty sure there's booby traps. There it is. Hey, please. Can you please? Oh god, I thought you were gonna... Oh, that's the tripwire. <laughs> that's disarm that. You could have killed me, you know that? But you're a good doggy. Yes, you are. So that clears out the lobby. So I think we only need to clear out the other side of the lower area then. And, of course, the, the factory itself, the assembly line itself. Okay, that seems to be clear, so let's head up the stairs. Taking a little bit of radiation damage because of the barrel underneath, but... Can open up that. Feel like I'm in XCOM at the moment. And then we're at the other side of that staircase. Or is this... Oh, wait a second. We've been here already. It's the wrong side of the area. I'm gonna have to just go over there. So as long as I have the upper ground, I'm fine. I don't know which light... Which light is the... Oh, God. Oh, wow. He saw the dog before he saw me. There we go. There's one. Oh, God, Nelly. Um, yeah, dog meat. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you there for a second. Holy crap. He just threw his Molotov at me. He's probably down. Yeah, he's all the way down there. Apparently, I have a shot. And then I can move. What? No! Fuck! God damn it! Oh! Damn you! Well, that's survival for you. We're back on the bridge. Back on the gunner bridge. I need to trek all the way over there again. So, in case you were wondering where we were at inside of the factory, we were right next door to that. Well, the door upstairs. Um, so right next to that searchlight over there. That's where we were. So definitely not the door you want to go through on your first round of uh, Corvega, especially on the higher difficulties. But let's get through the factory again. 
Oh god, I was lucky he just threw that in the ceiling there. I just entered the freaking building. There's three of them already barreling down onto me. I think the one on the left is still there, right? This guy, is he still? Oh no, he just got blown on top of the... Okay, never mind. Oh god. Someone there? Yeah, someone is there. Hello, grenade. There we go. Is there anybody here? No. That means I can go into this corner and then toss a grenade into this room. There we go. No need to wait. Well, risk my life getting that turret again. So learning from my mistakes. I'm just going to clear out the top few guys. And not even try going down that staircase. Um, so if I can snipe out that one guy like I did before. Wait. Oh no. Composition changed. Or maybe he already moved forward. Not exactly sure. There's nobody over here. So I'm just going to leave this room be for now. So the main factory floor has a terminal on the sides here. We can use that terminal to enable the Protectron. There we go, so let's use Protectron control and just activate the unit. There we go. And then I think... I don't have a shot on his head, but I can take out the Raider Scum once his head appears. There we go. And identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. Dogmate, stay here. Let the Protectron do stuff. What the? Oh, God. I think I hit Jared there, but... There we go. There goes one. So that's Jared. I don't have a critical yet. Probably need to be careful because he might actually throw more explosives at me. He threw a grenade already. If I can spot him... There he is. There he goes. Got him in the face there. Got them in the face. So that kills... No, no, there's definitely more. There's definitely more. Come on. Give me that. Give me that kill. There he goes. Look me. Give me a second. I'm gonna kill the... The light. And I can... Stand back. Stand back the dog. Thank you. So now I need to be careful because I know two raiders actually come in through here. So, this is dangerous, but I can throw a fragmentation mine across all these areas here. So I'm not exactly sure where they come in. They might actually come in from this door as well. I'm just going to put those mines over there. And now try and get where we need to be. Oh god, there's not a turret up there. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's push the button. Get that going. And then I think once we get in here... This actually triggers the other raiders coming in. But we'll hear that soon enough. Because that place is now completely... Ooh, wow. Yeah, there they go. At least got one of them. Another Grognag the Barbarian. There's not a lot of good loot. I'll make it nice and uh, there he goes. That's the that was the other the other mine triggered as well. <laughs> I'll make it nice and boom. Ah, oh, that was great. But there's still something here because I wait. Can I? Can I sleep? Oh come on! You let me sleep just a second ago. Crap, so there's still at least one enemy around. I got an hour sleeping. I got an hour sleeping. Yes. Yes. I'm fatigued, hungry, and thirsty, but I got another I got another hour of sleep in, so I got another save. Oh my god. Well, that was probably the most exciting time I went through Corvega. Please don't explode, thank you. So the reason it's probably still freaking out is that half. Half, half the 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 Corvega assembly plant here ha still has raiders. 
I just didn't really do anything about that. I think both of those mines exploded. Yeah, there's pretty much nobody left here. Yeah, he went down the stairs even. So that's that guy. So those two raiders are down. So I think I can just leave. I know there's a still a bubble hat on top of the building. You know what? I'm going to try that. So if I go through here, that leads us back outside. I just slept. So that should be fine, right? Yeah, let's go. So there we go. That gives us a shortcut out of this place. But... Also, in, wait, is that a normal storm? A oh, dog found an enemy. That's one. Oh God. I think I just got out of the way of that. And we leveled up, so that means we also get a full heal. But we're not, uh, we're not done yet. Wait, who closed the door? Uh, door? Oh, the door is open. It's just freaking out. Hi, bye. Oh, no. I think... I don't know what happened. I think Dogmeat opened the door and one of the raiders threw a grenade in. Well, that was nice. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not a good way of exiting the building. Holy crap. There's still the bubble head, though. I really want that bubble head. That should probably take care of the rest of the building first. So if you're wondering what that does with uh, my stats, is if I'm peckish, I lose one endurance. So parts we already knew, we lose intelligence. But intelligence is not that bad. Because that actually means we have a higher chance of triggering idiot savant. And yeah, I don't really mind that. But is there a way of getting to the other side of the building? Without having to go through this upper area. Because that's what fucked this last time. I'm gonna probably die again if I try this. But. Aha, wait. If I do want to get the bubble hat. There's another way. And that other way is this upper door. That gets us to the upper area of Corvega. So now we're outside. Immediately into danger. Immediately into danger. Oh god. Uh, the area is properly fucked, isn't it? Hi! Can you die, please? Oh god. Don't fire me! Oh god. What's going- Why is this guy not fire- Is he out of bullets? Or what the hell is going on? Okay. Um, that wasn't my brightest moment, but stem pack, purified water, and stealth. I gotta- Stop throwing grenades at me! Playing games with me, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm definitely playing a game, but not with you specifically. Is there one in here? Is there one in the storage room? Is dog meat down? I don't even know what... No? Nice and quick. No. I'm gonna just you grab your ammo. Me. I don't know what's going on. The game is freaking out a bit. <laughs> there we go. That raider is down at least. There's some... So I go outside of buildings and when I go... Turn... Jesus Christ, stop doing that. Oh God. Wah! Stop. Stop throwing explosives at me. Hi. Fuck off. And I leveled up. So there's my free heal. But I don't think that's gonna... Last long. No, 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 Critical. Oh, this guy is a bit heavier, it seems like. There he goes. Um. Jesus Christ, guys. Am I literally on fire or not? Stop, 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 for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, step back. Verified water. That doesn't solve anything, but at least... Are you freaking kidding me? I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because of that. Nuka Cola Quantum! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him, kill him, just kill him quickly. Kill him, kill him quicker. 
Oh god, there's more. Oh god, not a lot. Not a, not a lot. Please, please stop shooting and throwing stuff at me. How am I still alive? There's a pile of dead raiders out there. Wow. <laughs> and that one just fell down dramatically. And that's why Nuka-Cola Quantum can save your life. Did you see how that saved my life? <laughs> that just kicked in right on time. Oh my god. Um, I, I should grab... I should... I should grab the pistol. The pistol just worked tremendously. Um, definitely that. Uh, you can give me that and that. Aha, shotgun shells. That's nice. So note the self. Don't go outside. Show your face. <laughs> what a little bitch. Uh, no. No, I'm not. Where is he? So there's at least two of them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I missed. Let's get him from here. There we go. And there was at least one more next to uh, her. Is it? I don't think it is. You've been throwing hellfire at me. There we go. Just gonna get, <laughs> gonna get out of that. Okay. More, more molotovs. Oh, that's coming from up there. And I think I need to go up there. Yeah, this entire building is broken. Because, yeah. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I think if that guy upstairs pops up again, I can kill him with that. I am starting to get fatigued. So there's a few guys down there, but I don't need to worry about them. Because they don't really have a way of getting up to me. Oh god, there's at least three more raiders down here. Um, and the bobblehead is all the way up there, I think. Pretty sure. So let's just try and take them out one by one. So the first guy is down here. Think you can hide? Just die. Not sure how, where they can fire at me and where they can't, because I'm pretty much stuck in between these iron beams. I don't know what's happening with the textures, but some of these are really not... Okay, that must mean that they just saw me again. Once I'm on these staircases, I'm pretty much dead meat if I don't know where they are. I think one of them is trying to get back up higher, and this staircase is completely free of enemies. But yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the textures. Holy crap. Most of these... Brown bars are just supposed to be metal beams, of course, but not at the moment. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I hit him. No, no, I found you, I think so. I think I, I found you there. Hello. I'm gonna have to be careful because it can probably shoot me through the floor. Yes, I am. I'm surprised myself. So if we go all the way around the orb, there's this bobblehead. Might not even need it, but there we go. The Perfect. repair bobblehead. Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Well, that's, that's nice for when we start going into our power armor more. Which we probably should, looking at how much I've died already. Should probably use that a bit more. Well, where's that last raider? Oh god, oh god, I'm just gonna have to do this. Fats defense. There we go. And we got ourselves a second critical. Okay, what does that mean? Can I actually use, because I feel like... Ah, I probably don't have enough action points to use a rifle with Vats. And I even missed that shot. Although he didn't seem to mind. Oh, he's moving. I did hit him there. And I hit him there again. There we go. But I should probably save up my uh, hunting rifle ammo. I don't have a lot of that. But I think that's basically it. Oh, no, it's still twitching. It's still twitching. There's definitely still somebody here. I'm not going to jump down like an action hero. 
fall damage will definitely break my legs and kill me. So with that cleared out, I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, I think I should be able to take a nap down in those older mattresses. I'm just gonna head over there. But this area should allow us to take a little break and sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this very terrifying episode of Fallout 4 Survival uh, in the Corvega assembly plan. So next time we're gonna go deeper into the Commonwealth and uh, explore further. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.